Hello, my name is Paymo. Today is Saturday, May 29, 2021. Um, I will be speaking the, Eng the English language first, then I will be switching to the Persian language. Uh, the topic that I picked, it is Mullah's proxy war with Israel. The Mullahs in Iran came to power after the Democratic U.S. President Jimmy Carter or orchestrated to topple, to topple the Pahlavi dynasty with the British Broadcasting Corporation's help, which gave Khomeini a platform to foment unrest in Iran. After Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi left Iran, Khomeini returned to Iran after 15 years of exile without feeling for Iran. Khomeini entered interpret domestic affairs and world affairs from the lens of his version of Islam. He believed the only way to resolve difference with adversary was the annihilation of the adversary through violence. He did not believe in international relations, diplomacy and politics. Ibrahim Yazdi was a central intelligence agent, agency agent who returned to Iran after Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi left Iran to help Khomeini build his theocratic regime. He worked as the first foreign minister of the Islamic Republic of Iran. On August 7, 1979, Ibrahim Yazdi advised Khomeini, which Muslim worldwide united in solidarity against Israel and support of the Palestinians. Khomeini declared the liberation of Jerusalem a religious duty to all Muslims. That day, he stated, I invited Muslims worldwide to consecrate the last Friday of the holy month of Ramadan as Al-Quds Day and proclaim the international solidarity of Muslims in support of the legitimate rights of the Muslim people of Palestine. I have been notifying the Muslims of the danger posed by the usurper Israel, which today has intensified its savage attacks against the Palestine brothers and sisters in the south of Lebanon in particular. It is particularly bombing Palestinian homes in the hope of crushing the Palestinian struggle. I ask all countries worldwide to become one force to serve to severe the hand of this usurper and his supporters. I call on all the Muslims of the world to recognize Al-Quds Day, the last Friday in the holy month of Ramadan. It is a determining period and can also be a detriment of the Palestine's people's faith. Through a ceremony demonstrated the solidarity of Muslims worldwide, announcing their support for the legitimate rights of the Muslim people, I ask Allah Almighty for the victory of the Muslims over the infidels. On June 3, 1989, Khomeini closed his eyes. However, his ideas began to perpetuate in Iran's international relations with Israel. The clerics began to provide financial means and military means to militant faction in Lebanon and is Palestine to wage war with Israel. Therefore, Israel is left alone in the Middle East with one policy available to exercise. Sit and wait when the enemy drops bomb on, on them. The Mullahs in Iran are in a proxy war with Israel. Consequently, the world is an unsafe place as a result of Mullah's foreign policy. The Mullahs are buying guns and bullets from Russia and hands the firearms and ammunition to Palestinian militants to kill innocent Israelis. The world can no longer accept war policy. The world needs peace and peace has the final word. The Middle East will only be in a state of peace when the Islamic Republic of Iran collapses. So I will be speaking the Persian language. Um, همه ماها به خاطر داریم که چجوری آقای جیمی کارتر شروع کرد در ایران آشوب را انداختن پادشاه پاک ما آدم بدیه بی بی سی کمک می کرد به خمینی که بیا آشوب در ایران را بنداز همین کار را کردن بالاخره آقای ابراهیم یزدی اومد ایران که معمور CIA بود همه اینا رو من ثابت کردم در ویدیو کلیپ هایی که انجام دادم در کتاب هایی رو که نوشتم آرتیکل هایی که تو بلاغم زدم همه اینا ثابت شده است معمور سیایه بود وزیر امور خارجه تشریف داشتن و در ماه آگوست روز هفت سال 1979 ایشون به خمینی میگن که بیا بگو که رو آخرین جمعه 
ماه رمزان روز قدسه اون روز ما جشن میگیریم و برنامه ریزی میریزیم که اسرائیل رو نابود کنیم آخه این چه نوع انسانی که حرف از آدم کشی میزنه انسان خوب حرف از آدم کشی نمیزنه و باعث شده که مردم اسرائیل بی پناه باشن همیشه مورد هدف قرار میگیرند بمبارون میشن و واقعا حمایت دنیا رو لازم دارن و نگاه کنید این یه پراکسی ور هستش طوری که روسیه سلاحاشو به ملاها ها میفروشه ملاها ها میان اینا رو به اون ارگان های تروریستی که در منطقه دارن بهشون میدن و اینا میان میریزن رو سر مردم بدبخت اسرائیلی خب اسرائیل چکار کنه؟ بهشون اونجا نگاه کنه؟ نمیشه که این مسائل هستش باید این مسائل صحبت بشه گفته بشه و دنیا من یک انسان سلحجو هستم و دنیا دیگه نمیتونه تحمل کنه واقعا دیگه بس این آدم کشی ها خیلی ممنون.